Hello everybody, uh, thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Nate Frederick and you are watching the Thursday night edition of our Holy Week Prayer. Every night this week we've been gathering together for just a few minutes here online as a congregation to pray over different topics. This evening we're going to be praying for our leaders. Now I don't know about you, but for me it's hard enough just to kind of live through this crisis. I can't even really imagine what it's like to be leading others through this crisis. I know that people as, as, as small or down as like a local leadership with our, our mayors and our city councils are struggling and having to make some really hard decisions and you can kind of go to the next step up and you hit our, our governors and then you can hit some of those in our, our presidency and in our Senate. There are just a lot of different things going on right now and I don't envy them. I don't envy the position that they are in right now, having to make all of these decisions that affect millions and millions of lives. So this evening, we're going to take a moment and pray for them, but we're also going to pray for the leadership of local churches. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but there's been a struggle amongst the church leadership community recently about the whole church closings. See, we fully understand that the most loving thing that we can do here at Union City Christian Church is to close our doors during this time. If we gather here, it would just be more likely that we would get someone sick and we just can't have that. We can't do that. But we know that it is an incredibly hard decision to shut the doors of the church. Whether or not the government is telling us to do it or not, it becomes very difficult for us. Do we gather together like we want to to worship on a weekly basis? Or do we not for the health of the whole? And it's this really big push and pull. And church leaders all around the country are having to deal with making decisions based on this. And then you throw in the government side of it, and it becomes even more difficult. Are we, when we feel like we want to gather, what happens if we're not allowed to? Uh, what happens if the government says for the next you know, six months you can't gather in church? And, and what does that do for local churches? And, and the leadership in churches are having to go through um, some very difficult decisions right now as they plan. Because uh, we don't know if this is going to be a two-week thing, a two-month thing, or a two-year thing. And so we're trying to make plans for every single one. And I know churches are all around the nation are struggling with this. So this evening, we're going to be praying for our leaders, both secular and religious. So if you want to go ahead and grab your family, bow with me, we'll pray. Lord, we thank you for today and the opportunity that we have to gather here together and pray to you. Lord, this evening, we are lifting up our leaders. We're going to start, Lord, with prayers for our local leaders, our local elected officials, our mayors, our city council members. Uh, those who are in our county here in Madison County, Lord, let us pray uh, for a blessing over them during this time. Lord, I now ask that you provide a blessing and protection over and peace for not only our governor here in Kentucky, but also the governors all around the nation, Lord, that are making hard decisions, that are probably not sleeping very much, that are work doing a lot of work right now for the benefit of their people, Lord. We pray for our governor here in Kentucky as well as the governors all across the nation. Lord, now we bring up all of our elected officials that are serving in Washington, those that maybe we voted for and those that maybe we did not. Uh, they are all having to make decisions right now, Lord, and we ask you uh, to give them a, a, just a bit of your wisdom during this time. Uh, we ask that, that your law and your word be on their hearts um, in their decision-making process here. Give them the strength and the courage to do what is right and give them the knowledge to know what is right, Lord. Lord, we ask for your blessing over all of those who are leading us uh, elected officials in Washington right now.
Now, Lord, we pray for all of our church leaders, uh, those locally here, but also all around the country. This is kind of an unprecedented decision that churches are having to make to close their doors right now, Lord. That's a hard decision, one that's going to have a lot of consequences spiritually, physically, financially, Lord. Uh, we ask that you be with all of the church leaders around the country and those here specifically in Madison County as well, Lord. Uh, help them make the correct decisions to plan for the long term, Lord. Let them know that you're still in charge, that you still have a plan, and that you uh, still love them, Lord. Give them encouragement during this rough time as they are having to make some, some very tricky decisions as they go forward with their church. Father, as we close this evening, I want to thank you for who you are for the ability that we have to be able to connect with you in prayer. Lord, I want to thank you so much for every blessing that you have given us, uh, for the leaders that you have given us, Lord. Tonight, we pray over all of them. Uh, please protect them and give them the wisdom that they need to do their job correctly, Lord. We love you, and it's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. And that wraps up our prayer for this evening where we prayed for all of our leaders. Um, so glad that you're here with us. Like I said last night, uh, it does, does my heart a lot of good to see everybody that is interacting with these videos. So if you're watching this right now, please go ahead and check in for us down in the comments. Just let us know that you're here, that you're doing all right. And if there's anything that you need during this time, uh, let us know. Call us here at the church or message Chip or I on Facebook. We want to make sure that everybody is taken care of and has what they need. Uh, so please take a look at that. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you tomorrow.